Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start up a new series and in this series, we're going to be creating a fully functional Django Ajax crude application system. We're going to be creating, retrieving, updating and deleting and guess what? We're going to be doing all this without actually refreshing the page, which means we'll be doing all this asynchronously. And trust me, at the end of this video, you're going to learn a whole lot of things. You're going to learn how to create functions. You're going to learn how to work with JavaScript at the front end and interact with Django on the server side. You're going to learn how to do a lot of cool things and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you want to see more videos like this do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as you really mean the world to me so before we go ahead and get started I'm, i want to demo out the projects that we're going to be building in this one and it's a simple project that we've got over here as you can see we just have a very simple user interface and um the first thing that you can see over here is a simple form that's going to help us add students or we need to do is add their full name their email and their major let's say like computer science or business education or something like that now when you add up a student they show up here automatically you can either delete or update a student okay so let's go ahead and give this a shot so i'm just gonna fill this form immediately and as you can see we've got child vegan i don't know if i pronounce that the right way and also we've got their email address and let's say we want to put them in business education let's say be okay now when we hit arrow student what do you notice it gets down here immediately and the page doesn't refresh okay so we get them populated down here immediately as simple as that now what do you think we can do when we hit the edit the delete button so when we hit this delete button what do you notice channel is gone and also we can get rid of nail whitney and as you can see they are gone so the next thing we could also do is edit now take notes when we hit this edit as you can see it automatically um populates the fields the input fields with your existing information for example if we hit this one as you can see it automatically detects this person and updates their information over here and likewise this one it does the same thing so let's say we want to change qu which i don't know what it stands for to cs which is computer science and hit enroll students what do you notice it just changes it over here and it doesn't alter anything else on the field so we can say okay we don't want this email address any longer we want to change it we're just going to hit edit and for the email let's say we don't want to use mailnator but we want to use gmail and when we hit gmail and hit save what do you notice it changes that to gmail as simple as that and also apart from all this we can see that we store all this data in the database so when we come over to slash admin we're gonna come over to students and what do you notice we got all the students over here and let's come over to documents how about we get rid of one of the students so over here let's say we got rid of one of these students and they are gone now in the admin if we refresh this in the admin as you can see that student is gone how about we want to update the student and this is the students blah 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 let's say we want to update their name rather let's say to praise or something or let's say to cherish and uh, or cherish whatever and hit enter now when we come over to the database and refresh what do you notice that gets updated and also we've got this little functionality over here what this is simply going to help us do is let's say we've got a whole lot of students that were saved on a csv file or something we could easily load them up okay so if you don't understand what that means i'm going to show you guys right now i'm just going to add a couple of students over here i'm just going to add a little couple of students okay i think we are still editing students so what we simply want to do is um go ahead and refresh the page and we're going to go ahead and start adding a couple of students and i'm going to add a student uh, let's say i want to add like five students okay so i'm going to add five students now with this five students that i've added over here i'm simply going to come over to my database or uh, my admin section rather and i'm going to export so when i export this you can export with whatever um file format you want i'm going to export with csv so that i could open that in um in microsoft excel now when i click on open just take note of what's going to happen it's going to open this up in excel and it's taking a little bit of time and as you can see finally it's opened up now what do you notice we get all their ids we get their name we get their email or we get their major so we could go ahead and um, give this a little bit of space so you can see everything that's going on so as you can see we got name we got email we got major now let's say you lost your database i'm gonna come over here and um i'm gonna just stick with one of this and i'm gonna delete and i'm gonna delete all this okay delete all that come over here and refresh what do you notice we have only one so let's say you lost all your database but fortunately for you you save them on your local pc so all you need to do is come over to import and you just need to choose the file and um the 
this is the file over here this one i'm just going to choose that and the format is csv all we need to do is hit submit and as you can see now it's automatically gets all the user now all we need to do all we need to say is confirm imports now what do you notice it automatically imports all the user for us as simple as that so that's all we're going to be building in this video hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as you do mean the world to me and if you've got a couple dollars to spare do make sure to check out my youtube membership as well as a dollar is going to help me make free amazing videos for you guys so i hope i'll see you guys in the next video do make sure to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a series for now my love peace out